Man, I love DE shaving. Uh, I just had a fabulous head and face shave and uh, took a nice warm hot shower, got out of there and I splashed some Island Man. Mmm! Sterling Island Man scent all over the place. The bathroom smells good from the soap and the splash. I love shaving. And one thing I really love about shaving is all of my shave brushes. I think uh, shave brushes add to the luxury of taking shaving out of brushing your teeth category into the self-indulging pleasure that it is. Um, I'm going to, so I'm going to do a, uh, my top 10 brush review today. Uh, this, this video has been literally months in coming. Uh, the reason is I wanted to do a full video highlighting every single brush in my top 10. So if when I, when I go over a particular brush in this video today, if you have a further interest in that brush, if you'll just subscribe to my channel by clicking that subscribe button, uh, you'll have full access to a, to a full video on each and every brush I'll be talking about today. So that's my pitch for my channel. Please subscribe and you'll have full access to all my videos. I have some, like 32 videos now. Uh, many of them are featuring these brushes. Okay. Uh, I need to explain something that I will be covering and I think it's one of the most important things that I will be talking about today and that is the PR index. P standing for pressure, uh, R standing for resistance. Uh, there's a lot of terms that uh, you will hear out there in the shave community about brushes. You'll hear backbone, uh, how much layover, uh, how scratchy is it, how scrubby is it, how good of a painter is it. I'm going to suggest to my fellow DE Shave Channel uh, uh, producers, uh, video makers, that they pick up uh, this PR index uh, of rating brushes so that you as a consumer, you as the shaver, you as the enthusiast will be able to watch anyone's video on a particular shave brush, be given the PR index of that brush, and you will understand within reason uh, what to expect if you were to buy that brush. Now, so let me uh, fully explain what the PR index is. I'm going to pick this brush right here. It is a low index PR brush. In fact, it's a number three. That's the lowest PR index brush that I'll be rating today. Uh, because if it's lower than that, it doesn't make my top 10 because I consider it too floppy. This is a three. This is a very usable brush. This is a painter brush. Now let me explain why. This brush takes a very, very little pressure against the uh, relatively low resistance of those bristles to either lay it over or uh, when it's wet and full of soap, it, it would just splay so easily. It's amazing. Very little pressure to make it splay out on your face or very little pressure to make it lay over. And so, uh, the lower the number, the less pressure it takes to lay it over or to splay it. This is a, a, on the index uh, from 1 to 10. Uh, this brush is a 3. Lays over quite easily. And, when, and the low brushes, when I go through these ratings in, in the PR score, I consider a, a category painter brush. If they lay over like this, 
uh, especially with thin lathers like Kiss My Face or Creams or whatever, um, or any lather actually, if you have a low PR rated brush, you will have a really, really thick, uh, layering, painter type brush. Now, I will bring out one more brush to help explain the PR index. This again is another one of my top 10 brushes. It is the Yaki Mocha Express 26 millimeter two band. Now, it's uh, granted it is it, it's not wet and when they're wet they do lay over and splay a little bit better. Uh, if I were to rate this thing dry on the one to 10 scale, it would be a uh, 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 frankly, it'd be a 12. Uh, but when this thing is wet and ready to go, uh, it, I rate it at a, at a 9, a very high on the scale. Why? It takes a lot of pressure against a very resistant brush. Uh, as very resistant to layover and resistant display. And uh, when you have a 9 on the PR index, you have it a, a scrub brush and many of you like scrub brushes you prefer them for uh, their exfoliating nature uh, you know uh, you just like the feel of a brush that uh, doesn't give way easily and uh, so here is an example of a high score on the PR index scores at a nine so uh, I hope you understand that it, it, it goes the full spectrum from a very easy to lay over, very difficult to lay over, and it totally affects uh, when and where and how you like to use your brush. I like scrubber brushes and I like painter brushes and they have their place and as I get into more into the video I'm going to tell you what that place is. So uh, I will also be covering in this video uh, how each one of my uh, favorite brushes uh, hangs. Uh, you know, what kind of rack they will hang on because of the size of their handle. Uh, you know, what, what kind of gear you might need to hang it if you like that brush and so on. I, I, that's something that's not, you're not going to find on the brush websites, how they hang and which ones hang on the, on the which racks and, and so on. I'm going to try to cover that information. Um, and as I say, each brush will be given an individual PR index rating as I go through them. I'll also cover each one of my brushes that I talk about. Uh, I, I don't have a number one brush anymore. I have, I have, uh, I have six number uh, one brushes with four alternates. Uh, my six top brushes are like the ones I'm taking to the Olympics. My uh, rest of the four to make up the top ten are alternates to that top line six of brushes. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to scan. Uh, I'm going to scan the two sides of my den for you here. Hang on. Okay. This is uh, this is the Olympic lineup. The six top brushes with wait a minute here. This brush goes here, and this one goes here. Now, those are my six top brushes. I will note that each one of those top brushes is, an, is a totally different Yaki knot. Uh, like the Cola 22 has a certain kind of knot. The Purple Haze Mew Brown has a certain knot. The Two Band, uh, two band Badger has a certain knot. The Rainbow Brown has a certain kind of knot. Then there's the Bear 28, which has a tuxedo knot, and then there's the, uh, the, the Dandelion 24, 
with the cashmere knot. Each one of those is a, a different type of knot in the Yaki line, and, and I and I wanted one of each type. They all have a specific time, which I would pick one of those as my number one brush for the day. Depending on my mood, it might be the color, it might be the soap that I'm using. Uh, each one of those on any given day could be my top brush. Now I'm going to swing this camera around. Those, right there, that's how I display them in my den. That is my backup, Olympic backup line. Any one of those, and I will explain that as I go along, could be inserted into my top six line uh, at any given moment. They're excellent backups. Uh, they're just barely, barely not picked on my top six. And I will explain that as I go. So. I'm going to stop this camera now. I'm going to do some uh, reset up, uh, set up kind of a table thing over here to uh, go through each individual brush on its own. So, give me a second. Okay, first up. First up. The Cola 22. Okay, the Cola 22, I rate on the pressure versus resistance index, which, like I say, involves how easy it is to lay over and splay. Uh, I give this a 6, very near, uh, very near mid, very near mid-range, this brush. Uh, it's a very comfortable brush. And where I would use this brush is actually almost uh, any time that I'm in the mood for, uh, well, really in the mood for uh, an equal amount of scrub and, a, and, and also a very good painter brush. This, this is, when you've got a 6 PR score, I'm going to tell you that you pretty much have yourself uh, a perfect all-around brush. Now, uh, uh, something I, I said that I would cover with each individual brush is how do they hang? This, this, um, let me make sure, this stand is a standard stand that uh, if you go on AliExpress or Amazon.com, this is usually the size of brush. Uh, or brush stand that, that you can purchase if you purchase one. You know why I love these brushes with these type handles? Look at that. They hang perfectly. You don't have to hang them up here or whatever. You just slide the handle on there and they hang like that. What is not to love about that? So, uh, I'll remind you, I have a video, uh, if you'll just subscribe to my channel, a complete in-use video of that brush. Okay, brush number two. Now, I want to bring this stand out. This stand, you need to know, is a, is a, is a four-hook stand. And one of the uh, brush hooks, it's got two, one of the brush hooks for this brush, which is the Yaki Purple Mew, uh, excuse me, Purple Haze Mew Brown 24 millimeter uh, brush. Uh, you will notice that it will hang like that. However, that is deceptive because that's a very large hook on that, uh, on that rack. And it will not, repeat, it will not go into your more standard size brush holder. However, this particular one, you know, you can find them on uh, Amazon or, uh, or AliExpress. It will fit that particular rack. 
So let me put this back together here. And I make a total mess of everything. <clears throat> now let me talk about this brush. I'm really, uh, I'm really, actually amazed uh, with this brush because it is, uh, it's a seven. This is uh, this this brush here is basically a a a tuxedo. Uh, that is more luxurious. It's got the back bone of a tuxedo, but right on the tip area, it goes into a, it goes into an ultra soft feeling brush. So this gives you the backbone, or shall I say, uh, almost the PR index pressure versus. A resistance index of a tuxedo. A tuxedo, I'll just bring up, is an eight. It's uh, it it takes quite a bit of resistance to lay a tuxedo over or to make it splay. This takes a little bit less, and it's a little bit softer on the tips, and consequently, um, consequently, I now like this brush better than my uh, tuxedo design brushes in general. I ha I have to say. And I'm incredibly surprised. Jackie now has an 86 cent uh, ending price point on this brush, uh, which tells me they're going to discontinue it. So, uh, man, if you're thinking about this brush, get one now. And I tell you, you will not be disappointed. PR index of 7, a very soft tips. It's equally good painter, equally good scrubber, uh, all-around brush, um, 24 millimeter in size, um, not too small, not too big. Um, uh, you know, uh, just a beautiful brush. I'm going to hang it back where I normally hang it, right there. Next. No particular order other than I'm just going around the, uh, the brushes here. Uh, this is my Yaki uh, Mocha Express 26 millimeter. Large, uh, it's got a nice large 26 millimeter. Uh, two band badger knot, well broken in. I got a video on how to break those suckers in. I've got videos on this specific brush as well, uh, so you might, if you're interested, you might want to catch it. This brush, my two two bands that I have in my top ten, um, they're virtually the same. Uh, they're, like I said, pretty hard to lay over, pretty hard to splay, even when wet. Now uh, they're they're definitely uh, scrubber category uh, brushes. For a fact, um, and um, one good thing I can, uh, one really outstanding thing I'm going to tell you about badgers. Uh, I, I will always have a badger in my line, at least one good one, because when when it's a cold winter day, when you put when you soak these in warm water, these badgers hold a lot of water and they hold it warm. So if you're if you like warm lather on your face as I do, there is no better brushes on planet Earth for uh, holding warm shave lather in a brush than a Yaki Two Band Mocha Express 26 millimeter brush. This brush is great for head and face. It's large. Uh, it's a large head and face scrubber brush. PR score on the index of 9. And you will notice I have to have these big black hangers on these big brushes. And, I, and you can't hang them by the handle period on that one. You have to hang it up there in the brush area as I've done. Next! Yucky! Look at that beauty. Yucky! Rainbow! 
brown. Uh, this is a 26 millimeter brush. This is a right in the middle of the PR index. I mean, this is totally uh, right cut right down the middle between a painter and a scrubber. Uh, uh, many people, including me, have had this as their number one brush in their den. Uh, it's hard to fault. If you're going to lather your face, you're going to lather your head. Man, this thing splays out. Great big huge splay, relatively easily to do, but yet strong enough backbone to spring right back into position. It doesn't ever lay over and play dead. Uh, a wonderful, wonderful brush in use. Uh, just a pleasure to use. And easily on a given day, I could choose this as my number one brush. That is... Uh, and uh, but like I say, it's a, it's a it's a it's a 26 millimeter, and it will hang like that on one of these big plastic holders. I get those on AliExpress for two something a piece. Next, this brush, Yaki gave it no name, right? Didn't give it a name. I will. I'm going to call, I've called this brush the Bear uh, 28 Tux. The Bear. It's the Bear. Uh, uh, look at it. I mean, this thing. The Bear. Uh, if you're listening, Grace, this is the Bear. Now, they also make this in a 26 millimeter version. If, if it was me, I'd call this the Bear 28 and Tux, and I'd call the 26, the Bear 26, uh, Tux. So, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm naming this for Yaki, whether they pick it up or not, the Bear 28 millimeter Tux. And, uh, fat, chunky handle, uh, Tuxedo knot. Most, almost everybody, well, I won't say almost everybody, a lot of people have a Tuxedo brush and they know what they are. They're soft tips. They have backbone galore. They don't lay over and play dead. They are rated on the PR index, which means uh, pressure versus resistance. Uh, takes a pretty good amount of pressure to lay one of these suckers over. Takes a pretty good amount of pressure to make them splay. Uh, this is a PR index 8 on, uh, the, on the PR index score. Uh, a wonderful brush. This is a scrubber category. Uh, you get the, up that high, as I said. You get up this high in the, in the PR score, you're, you're talking about a scrubber brush. Doesn't mean it won't paint, uh, at, uh, but on thin lathers, it may tend to scrape some of the lather away. That's why if I've got a thin lather, I'm going to go something lower on the PR index to paint on some of my creams and thinner lather soaps. Uh, but if this is, a, but with a thick layer soap, one that layers fairly thickly, and you want to do your head and your face, or just your head or whatever, this large 28 millimeter brush on that given day would be my best brush on that given day with that given circumstance. Okay, that is the Bear 28. Next, we have. The Dandelion Green. Look at that, baby. This, uh, this brush is, uh, uh, it's, it's, oh man, it, it's, it's really, you know, <clears throat> I actually love this brush. Uh, like on my, when I lather with my Kiss My Face, which is a very thin, layering, uh, lathering uh, cream. Uh, man, when you have the PR index on this, lays over very easily, splays very easily. Uh, this thing splays out just beautifully over your face. Uh, very soft and just paints a thick layer of even the thinnest creams. Uh, and just a, just a luxurious experience to use. Um, needless to say, 
on a given day when I'm using something like Kiss My Face or a thin layering soap like uh, possibly a sterling soap that doesn't lay, uh, for me, doesn't lay real thick lathers. I'm going to use uh, something like this, a PR Index 3. And man, is this a beauty. And guess what? It's another one that hangs on, on uh, the, the smaller size common metal brush racks. So you got to love that. Now, I'm going to bring over, I'm not switching camera, I'm just going to bring over, uh, this, uh, the brushes I've just showed you were my, that's my Olympic line, my <coughs> top six, and these are sub substitutes. Uh, this brush here, the Naples 24 millimeter. Beautiful brush with a tuxedo knot. Um, I wouldn't have called this the Naples. I would, I would have named this the Blue Moon, personally. Uh, you look at that and you say, okay, it's blue and white. It's got to, where, where did Naples come from? I, I have no idea. I would have called it the Blue Moon. Anyway, nevertheless, a very, very nice painter brush. Um, well, mid-level painter brush, because it's got a tuxedo in there. Um, uh, this brush is, uh, it's got a tux. It's a smaller tux, and so I don't think I'd give it the same 8 that I give the 28, even though it's a tux. I'd probably put that in about a 7, uh, as about a 7, pretty pretty close to, uh, pretty, to the... Uh, purple, haze, mu, brown, as far as uh, PR index. However, just to make sure you understand this, look where it hangs. Perfectly. So that's, uh, that could easily set in that spot. I could easily trade those two out and set those in the top, set that one in that place in the top six. Next, let me pick this one. This is, uh, is uh, going to surprise you. It's a tuxedo. It's made by Haircut and Shave Co. 26 millimeter. Um, I would have called this the Red Knight. I don't know that uh, it's called anything other than the uh, Haircut and Shave Co. 26 millimeter tuxedo brush, but I would have called it the Red Knight. Anyway, this brush, if you'll notice, uh, if you'll notice here, the splay is relatively flat, and it uh, and it it angles really angles out. Uh, if you can see this, and it's really really tall. So a brush that big with a tuxedo knot would typically be an 8, like, uh, like the Bear 28. But it is not because it's so tall, because of uh, the way it's cut and the way it splays wide. It actually would fit in place of the Rainbow Brown. These two brushes... Uh, on their PR index, on the way they feel, on your head and face, uh, virtually a tie. And virtually feel the same, even though this is a tux, and this is, um, um, this just called the brown uh, 26 millimeter knot. This is the rainbow brown. But uh, that, so that could in, in the, as a sub, fit right there in the line, in the top six. But I like this one a little better. So that one holds that position in my top Olympic six brushes. This one, also haircut and shave co. Haircut and Shave Co. It is a 24 millimeter, although 
the way that it's splayed and the way that it's cut, it it uh, it it it's like a 26 millimeter tuxedo, even though it's called a 24. This was the first really good brush that I purchased for $11 on Amazon.com, and it's what woke me up to the difference between. Crappy brushes like this. Look at this. This is a, a, a brush I got on Amazon. Total crap. You put the lather on it, flicks it all over the bathroom. Then there's this one that's uh, some kind of a badger brush, itty bitty little thing, and uh, it's like a toy. Uh, these were my experiences and brushes not to buy. So when I got this one, Haircut and Shave Co, I thought, oh, that's what a what a good brush is. And that's what turned me on to tuxedo knots. And my following several brushes were all tuxedos because this brush is that good. Um, easily could fit into my Olympic Top 6 line. It would be placed here because it's most like the Bear 28. So it could easily be stacked right there as an alternative in that position in my top six. Now I have one, uh, let's see, I have one more brush. Ah. This one, it uh, is. It's also a two band. Uh, it's a twenty four millimeter. However, it doesn't splay uh, or uh, feel m much different than my twenty six millimeter two band. It has a really cool uh, mountain lake. It's called the Mountain Lake twenty four millimeter. Uh, Yaki two band. Um, it like my uh, 26 millimeter Mocha Express two band. It is also a nine on the PR index. Uh, doesn't lay over easy. Doesn't splay easy. It's a scrubber brush, and it could easily uh, substitute uh, for right there for the other two band uh, Yaki brush that I have. So that's uh, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, I want to swing this around for you. That pretty much does it. Uh, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, remember, uh, I'm, I'm bringing this uh, for informational purposes. Please, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm always here for questions about brushes or razors, anything that you want to ask me on my videos. I'm always here for you guys. Um, I hope you'll subscribe, and uh, especially if you're interested in any of uh, these brushes that I've shown you today, I have a complete video on every single one of them. And if you subscribe, you'll have access to all my videos, and you'll be e uh, very easy for you to access whichever brushes you want to know more about and see an actual sh use. Uh, so uh, thanks a whole lot for tuning in. Uh, I, uh, I want to thank you for uh, all my subscribers. Uh, all, uh, all my watchers, uh, everybody that uh, everybody that supports this channel, thanks from the bottom of my heart, and uh, I hope that I'll see you next video. This is Kit from DE Shave Talk with Kit, and I'm out.